Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tuesday, the 17th of October, 2023, of the 28th week in Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, Bishop and Martyr. Although I am not conscious to myself of anything, yet I cannot hereby justify myself. For your mercy apart, no man living shall in your sight be justified. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, fill me with your love and increase my thirst for holiness. Cleanse my heart of every evil thought and desire, and help me to act kindly and justly, and to speak charitably with my neighbor. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Saint Ignatius of Antioch Of Syrian origin, Ignatius served as the third bishop of Antioch for forty years until he was arrested and escorted to Rome, where he died for sport in the amphitheater around the year 107. The seven letters he composed on this journey inspired generations of persecuted Christians. Let me be food for the wild beast, he begged his brethren in Rome, for they are my way to God. I am God's wheat and shall be ground by their teeth so that I may become God's pure bread. Pray to Christ for me that the animals will be the means of making me a sacrificial victim for God. The Epistle Although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 1, verse 16. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jew first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith, as it is written, The one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness to those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what He has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God or give Him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man or of four-legged animals or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lust of their hearts for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 19 Responsorial verse, the heavens proclaim the glory of God. 
The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel Give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 37. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined a table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cups and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, Give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. To what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. Luke chapter 11, verse 41. Appearances can be deceiving. What looks clean on the outside might actually be covered up with some evil within. That's what Jesus was warning the Pharisee about in today's Gospel. This man's concern with outward piety, the prescribed washing of hands before meals, didn't reflect the inward condition of his heart. But Jesus didn't just criticize this Pharisee who had invited him to dinner. He offered a remedy. Give alms. Luke chapter 11 verse 41. That is what would cleanse the man's heart. What is it about giving alms that is so beneficial for us? When we give something away, whether it is our money, our possessions, or our time, we have to detach from it. It's no longer ours to keep. This has a purifying effect on us because it requires us to let go of things that in the end can never satisfy our hearts. It also requires us to think of the needs of others above our own comfort or desires. But giving alms involves not just our material goods, but also our thoughts, intentions, and motives. When we give these things to the Lord, we are giving over to Him what is most precious to us. And in surrendering these movements of our minds and hearts, we are allowing Him to shine a light on anything that needs to change. It's like taking the lid off of a cup and letting the Lord scrub it clean. What if this Pharisee had freely offered his thoughts to Jesus that day? He could have opened his heart by confessing his confusion over why Jesus was ignoring the prescribed hand washing. That could have led to a conversation that would have allowed this man to let go of his judgments and pride. 
It could have even helped him to recognize Jesus as Messiah. What can you give to Jesus today? Though you might experience some resistance within you, give alms by letting it go and letting the Lord do His work of purification. He wants to make you clean inside and out. Lord, I surrender all to you. Cleanse me through and through. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.